Hey everyone, it's Jamie from Independent Street NOLA and Season Such Ritual, and I'm here with my good friend Helen, the Crimson Cadavers. Hello. And it is 82 degrees. Yes, it's definitely not cold here. No, so no. all our friends that are getting snow on. We're sorry. Yeah, and um, been there, done that. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so we were talking before we started the video. Yes. This is gonna be a really active week. We're gonna be talking about the week of February 27th. Moving into March. Yes, into I can't believe it's March already. I know, let's How? march into this. Yeah, we're definitely marching into it this week. Oh, yes we are. Yes. And so we were talking about um, all the planets in Aries. Yes, we've got a lot of planets in Aries yes. right now. We've got six planetary bodies. Okay. So I think that's important to say because they're not technically all planets. planets correct, yes, yes, you're right. correct, yes, yes. Um, but they are all hanging out together, so I think I think they all kind of have a little party going on and... They're kind of priming the pump for airy season. Yes, they yeah. definitely are. Um, so we're definitely getting a little bit of a, you know... Which we're just into Pisces season. Yes, I know, and it feels like Pisces season. But yeah. we're still we're still looking forward to airy season. We're in it to win it. And actually, we have a really interesting conjunction late tonight, which mm -hmm. today is Sunday yeah, that we're, we're filming Yeah, we're actually this. filming on Sunday, yes. Yes. Secrets um, of the trade. Yes. We're filming a day before. Okay. That speaks to that Aries energy that okay. I think actually kind of starts the entire week off, right? Is mm -hmm. that Venus conjunct Vesta? And see that that horn knows it's a big deal. <laughs> toot, toot. Yeah. <laughs> Venus conjunct Vesta. Um, it basically happens right before midnight tonight. Mm -hmm. So as far as I'm concerned, it's basically starting that uh, next week off. Um, and mm -hmm. Venus is our value system. Yes. Venus is how we find beauty in the world. She's connected to the divine feminine. Yeah. Um, and she's our self-worth. Yes, when you say she's our self-worth. Yeah. Um, and Vesta is the sacred flame. So she is that spark of life inside of us that allows us to keep devoted to whatever really matters to us. Yeah. And to see these two come together, it's like it's almost impossible for us to devote ourselves to something that doesn't truly matter to us. And what sign are they? Aries. Okay. So again, the sure. initiator. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's actually a really great time that these, all this is happening in Aries, which is that initiation, that mm -hmm. fire, um, while we are in Pisces season, yes. um, because we are bringing in this higher um, idea and value system of Pisces, again, which is allowing old stuff to die. Yes. So if before you didn't know your self-worth or before you kind of felt burned out or um, you didn't see the value in the divine feminine or how to nurture yourself, yeah. Let alone others. Um, it's time to start dreaming this in again, yeah. right? Um, and then, like you said, I can't. I keep saying Venus is in her full Venus. She clearly is. She's in her full Venus, and so um, and just remember, you guys who are all Taurinians, our sweet, sweet Taurinians, Venus is your ruler. Yep. So. And Libra. And Libra. And I, know, I, always, I know. I always forget. Sorry, I forgot Libra. Okay. okay. That's why we, we're closer to Taurus season than Libra season. Okay. So it's all right. Totally, that's why I forgot. Um, thank you. Yeah. Yes. Um, so it's for everyone who's a Taurus. Um, well, the reason I say Taurus, I guess, too, I guess, um, is because it's a fixed sign. Yes. Um, and they've been in it to win it for a while. Oh, yeah. And so, especially if you're a Taurus and you're starting to kind of like come alive with, oh, wait, I don't have to do things this way or I'm realizing my self worth. And actually, I would say that for all the fixed signs. Um, because Venus is your Venus is the ruler of Taurus. Yes. Fixed sign. So and she's conjunct with Vesta. Yes. So other fixed signs: Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo. Leo. <laughs> Don't <laughs> forget our Leo. Sorry, Ma. <laughs> um, you know, if you guys are kind of like getting this uh, awakening, I, yeah. I, I I say it's because of that. Now, scientifically and or mathematically. Probably not, okay, but I do believe when these fixed signs have these um, energies or, or asteroids or lots of planets, um, it does affect the other fixed signs. Oh, absolutely. Because they're fixed. Yeah, so. definitely. Okay, friends, so. Let's and, yes. oh, and then again, one more note for this yes, week, yes. which is how we take into, you know, next week, yeah. is Saturn is moving into his anoretic degree today. Okay, and the anoretic degree final degree, so 29th okay. degree, um, degree of mastery, mm -hmm. completion. It's, you know, the most challenging degree, right. you know, so to speak, to get through because it's getting us into the next sign. It's right. proving we're ready for the next sign, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And of course, Saturn's going to move into Pisces on March 7th. Mm -hmm. But for this period of like the next like, you know, week and a half or so, he's going to be in his anoretic degree. And we're going to be finishing up all the things that 
have spoke to the Saturn energy mm -hmm. in Aquarius since March of 2020. We all know what happened in March of 2020. The pandemic. Yes. Okay. Um, so this is a good time. Like she said, it's in this, his final degrees. Yes. So definitely. Of Aquarius. Definitely something big shifting with that, um, you know, once he moves into Pisces. Mm -hmm. But we've got that last little tail end of that energy to work with. Mm -hmm. And I think it's definitely going to feel like it this week. Yeah. You know, and Saturn is definitely, you know, sky daddy, always making sure we're being responsible. Yeah. And, you know, keeping our boundaries straight and building our solid foundations. Yes. And he's just going to ask that of this. Yeah. You know, of us. Are we doing that? Yeah. And so and into, like she said, it will move into Pisces March 7th. Mm -hmm. And so that energy, though, is still going to be there as, yeah. it, as it moves. So it's important to, um, you know, Aquarius is the future. Um, and this is its ancient ruler. So these new ideas like come in or seeing things differently or communicating differently, you guys write that down. Even yeah. if you're like, no way. The answer is yes way, mm -hmm. um, especially because we are in this Pisces season who's bringing in these dreams. Yes. So Aquarius, I mean, Saturn in Aquarius' 29th degree is really gonna start stabilizing things that need to change now. Mm -hmm. But you guys have gotta realize like, it's for the, it's like forever. Yeah. You know, it's not like, oh, it's gonna happen next week and then if it doesn't happen, it's it's done. No. No, this can still happen three weeks from now, a yeah. year from now. So it's important to journal. It's important to write these ideas down. Yes, definitely be doing a lot of journaling at this time because there's a lot of there's a lot of energy shifting. What are we saying? It's gonna be an active week. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Definitely a very active week. Yeah. Yeah. We're just on Monday. Yeah. Okay. So Monday. Yes. <laughs> Yay! We're just starting the week now. Yeah. Um, the Monday will be the twenty seventh. Yes. Oh, also. I heard that tonight, like later today, the 26th, there's supposed to be a lot of solar flares, a lot of solar energy coming in. Oh, Did you hear that? Yeah, I haven't heard that, but I know what that means. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, just that, putting that in there too. Yes. Okay, so Monday, um, the moon will be in Gemini. Yes, and this is when we see the moon square with the sun mm -hmm. in Pisces now, creating the first quarter moon. Mm -hmm. So anytime we see a square between the moon and the sun, we mm -hmm. have what they call a quarter moon. Mm -hmm. So either a first quarter or a last quarter. Mm -hmm. and the funny thing about that is it actually looks like a half moon, not yeah, a quarter I moon. I know, I know. But, you know, we're, we're not gonna, yeah. you know, get too sticky on that one. Yeah. But, um, so, Quarter moons are action moons. Mm -hmm. So either if it's the first quarter, we're taking actions towards our new moon intentions. Mm -hmm. If it's the last quarter moon, then we're taking actions towards releasing things that came up during the full moon. Mm -hmm. Either way, we're taking action. Right. So this first quarter moon, we're taking action on something that we set intentions for. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting is the moon will be conjunct on Mars, mm -hmm. or conjunct with Mars, Mars yeah. at that same time. Yeah. So it's like adding like an extra dose of power to what we're doing. Yeah, and also again, when I talk about Gemini, you guys, I always talk about it as being um, unity consciousness. And so it's important that you start getting excited about that. Like, yes. oh wait, I do actually have options. Oh wait, there is more things than this or that. So yes. make sure you guys keep pumping up that energy and start seeing like, no, other things can come in. We yes. don't know how these things are gonna land. So that's really important when um, Gemini is conjunct Mars. Yes. So Mars is gonna move things through. Yes. Okay, that same day, the moon will be in a sextile. With four of the six planetary bodies that are in Aries right now. Yeah. Um, and that's gonna be a theme throughout this week is like the moon interacting with these six planetary bodies. So yeah. let's let's review those planetary bodies please, first. Please. Um, so we have Venus, mm -hmm. we have Jupiter, we have Vesta, mm -hmm. we have Chiron, and we have Juno, and we have Eris. And those are all in Aries. All in Aries right now. So um, the moon, whatever the moon's doing, if it's doing it with one, it'll be doing it with all of them around the same time. She's busy. I know, she yeah. is. Um, Aries is full. Yes. It's full so house. Currently on Monday mm -hmm. will be the sextile with Venus, Jupiter, Vesta, and Chiron. Mm -hmm. And then later on on Tuesday, skipping ahead, she'll do Juno and Eris as well. Yeah. So basically, that with the sextile, that's going to be a 60 degree difference, mm -hmm. so two signs away. Okay. That's going to be a really favorable energy. Yeah. So we're working with that with that first quarter moon. We right. want to keep that in mind and that conjunction with Mars. We've right. got a power up, we've got, you know, action that we feel like we need to take. Right. And then we've got this harmonious energy with all these planets and Aries saying, do it. Take and let me the tell action. you, that sextiling with Chiron. To me, as people saying, fuck it. Yep. We're going to do it. I don't care. We're doing yep. it. You know, we're, we're doing, doing it. Because I know my worth now. Yeah. It can get done. And we know our worth because Venus is there. Yeah. 
We're gonna yep. go big because Jupiter's, Jupiter's there. there. Yep. We got the fire lit because Vesta's there. And, and Chiron knows what to do to heal. Yes, yep. exactly. He's the great healer. Okay, so you guys, that's just Monday. Yeah. Okay. Very big week. Yeah. So on Tuesday, the moon will still be in Gemini. Yes. It's going to be trining Mercury, Mercury and, and Saturn, Saturn. Who are both in Aquarius yes. right now. Yep. yep. Um, so again, uh, Mercury, air sign. Wait, sorry. Gemini, air sign, Mercury rules Gemini. Yep. So, um, and then trining in, other, in another air, air sign, sign, Aquarius. Yeah. So, so, very discerning, very intellectual. Right, let those new ideas come in. And then if you guys get stuck between, well, it can only be this idea or that idea, that's when you ask for that higher idea. Yeah. Because Saturn's going to make it stable. Mm -hmm. And again, write this stuff down. You don't have to have it all figured out now. It's just important that you guys start noticing this new energy coming in. Yeah, Mercury definitely wants you to write stuff down. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, especially Mercury and Aquarius. Yeah. Like, you're not going to remember that in the future, right? No, because we got a lot going on. Yeah. Okay, and then also the moon in Gemini on that same day will square Neptune. Yes. Who's in Pisces? Yes. So that may actually be kind of tapping into some of this Pisces season energy of like the, you know, intangibilities of things. Yeah. Which Moon and Gemini is going to be like, all right, let's go, let's go, let's go. And the square with Neptune is going to be like, all right, let's sit here and think about it for a while and like swim in these waters yeah. and, you know. So we definitely have, we definitely have the challenge with that to stay grounded. Yeah. Definitely want to stay grounded in that time period. But I think it also is allowing us to consider that things don't always have to be cut and dry. Right, or it doesn't have to be tangible. Yes. Right, I hope that's going to happen. I don't know, it just is. Right, yeah. and, and again, the square of Neptune is always going to be like, it just is. Yeah. Yeah, and sometimes we have to accept that. Yeah, um, and also it's important to also know, when we're saying it just is, you don't have everything figured out. Right. That's why you just write this stuff down, okay? We don't know all the fucking fish in the sea, or all the little organisms in the sea, yeah. the depths of the sea, there's things there. Yeah the, yeah, the depths of the ocean definitely speaks to Neptune and, and Pisces. Pisces. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so then the moon will move into Cancer. Yes. Um, later that day on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. um, and then Juno forms a conjunction with Eris. And just in the sky or in Cancer? Um, in Aries. Okay, sorry. Yes. Sorry. So we're still we're still in Aries with those planets. Okay. And actually, I think I forgot to put it in our notes. Mm -hmm. The moon will actually sextile Juno and Aries too. Okay. So um, again, the favorable energy with that. But Juno is the great committer. Mm -hmm. um, she speaks with, to our partnerships, what we're committed to. Mm -hmm. um, and Aries is the great disruptress. So yeah. She's always disrupting things that we don't need anymore. Right. She's there with our sweet sweet Discord. So you know, with something like that, you know, any kind of thing that we might be committed to that isn't for us anymore. Yeah. Aries is gonna be like, time to go. Time to go. And also with that moon in Cancer, the moon rules Cancer. Yeah. You know, so you guys, this is like astrology 101 but like what's around your home you know what needs to get out of your home what's yes. not working for you anymore whether your home is in yourself or your home is in like your actual home yes okay i love juno conjunct Aries. yeah i, I think that's a really beautiful energy i do too and especially in aries yeah yeah, fire yeah. It up. Also, too, I think it's a new way for them to communicate yeah from um the olden days when Aries yeah, was kind of a um a thorn, outcast. yeah, kind of a she thorn, yeah, in Juno's side, mm -hmm. or who was hair? Juno and Hera, the same yes. person. So I think this is, which again, because Juno conjunct Eris, you said will be sextiling Cancer. The moon. Yeah, yeah, the Moon in Gemini still at that point. Oh, we're here. It says Moon's into Cancer. Um, before, before. Okay, so Juno conjunct Eris will be in Cancer. No, in Aries. An Aries. Okay. Yeah. Juno conjunct Aries. Okay, sorry. We'll be in Aries. Yes. And then the moon in Gemini will we'll sex out Juno and Aries. Okay, yeah. okay. So yeah, that's that's communication. Yes. Right? That's them communicating. So like I said, it was making the point, but not really good. But them talking things out. Yes. Um, and coming to a new understanding. Okay. And then Wednesday, the moon will move into Cancer. Yes. Okay. And when it moves into Cancer, it'll sextile the North Node, the North Node who's st still in Taurus. Helping us move in the direction we need to be moving in. And just remember, you guys, the Moon in Cancer, Cancer is ruled by the Moon. Venus rules Taurus. That's a lot of divine feminine energy. Okay. 
it is training, the moon in Cancer will train the sun in Pisces. It's a lot of watery ener energy. Yes. Okay. Um, but anytime we have that favorable energy flowing, I mean, sextile and trine are very favorable energies. So like either 60 degrees with the sextile, 120 degrees with the trine. Right. Um, but whenever we have that favorable energy, it's like everything is just like, I don't want to say flowing easily, but definitely flowing very harmoniously. Yeah. And especially with the sun harmoniously flowing with the moon, mm -hmm. it's like the sun obviously is our vitality, you know, our, um, our true self. Our confidence. Yes. Yeah, how we show up. That's flowing very favorably with the moon in mm -hmm. Cancer, which the moon in Cancer is at home, so she's happy. Right. She's doing great. So this is this is a really um, nice flowing energy that we have between those three planetary bodies. Yeah, that's that masculine energy within us working together, right? Um, so if it feels a little bumpy that day, that's when you check in with yourself. Yes. Okay. Um, it will be squaring. The moon in Cancer will be squaring Venus and Jupiter and Vesta. Who and are, Chiron, which I didn't write down. Okay, who are, who are all in <laughs> oh, wait, Aries. Oh, no, that happens the next day. Excuse me. Okay, so it's okay. okay. <laughs> We're getting through this week. Yeah. Okay, the moon in Cancer um, on Wednesday will be squaring Venus, Jupiter, and Vesta. Yes. Who are in Aries. And so she, v Venus and Jupiter and Vesta are going to ask those questions. So instead of us just being like, peace, love, and happiness, yeah. they're going to say like, wait, wait, where are we now? Right. There's going to be some challenges. There's yeah. going to be like, all right, is this right? Mm -hmm. If not, you know, we got to do what we got to do to make it right. Because Venus will be conjunct Jupiter, which means they're close to each other yes. in Aries. And so that's that initiation. Yeah. yeah. And this is, that's a beautiful energy. Because mm -hmm. like, again, Venus is our values. Jupiter is our faith. Right. We literally have faith in our values. Yeah. And let me tell you, Venus, I can't stress this enough. She is a full Venus. Yes. Yeah. And again, hitting anything that hits Jupiter just becomes bigger. Yeah, that's yeah. good. So yeah. she's all going to be somehow fuller than she is right now, I feel right. like, at that point. Yeah, in a good way. Mm -hmm. Okay, Thursday. Moon's still in Cancer. Yes. I know it seems like it's never leaving Cancer. It'd also help if I read the notes better. But anyway, Thursday, Moon in Cancer. We're now, it's now March 2nd. Okay, the Moon in Cancer is sextiling Uranus, who's still in Taurus. Yep. Yeah. Um, and so that's that good energy, right? Yep. Uranus is the future, yep. right? Uranus rules Aquarius, who's Flowing a fixed sign. easily with the changes. Yep, so, um, and Taurus is fixed Earth. So yep. this is those fixed signs, getting some more, which better way, like, like lots of energy, good energy. Um, and that moon in Cancer, that's our intuition too. Mm -hmm. So um, the same day it's gonna square Chiron, mm -hmm. Juno, and Eris, yep. who are all in Aries. Yes. So that same energy, like I said, beginning of the week that we've been working with, with mm -hmm. all those planets in um, Aries, mm -hmm. again, the challenge with Chiron, the challenge with Juno, the challenge with Eris, where mm -hmm. it's like, you know, maybe the things that felt like kind of, you know, easy for us at the beginning of the week, now we're going to have to really think about that. Yeah, I agree with that statement. And it is, but it's it's time to show up with that energy. It, but, You've got to, you guys have got to see yourselves differently. You've got to yeah. think about yourselves differently. That's where that moon and cancer sextiling Uranus and Taurus comes in. Yes. You can't show up to the same problem with last year's ideas. No, okay? you really can't. You've got to come in with some new energy with that. So that square comes up. Can you do it? Yes, you can. How do you do it differently? Okay. Yeah. You ask that Uranus and Taurus, how can I ground in some new energy? Taurus is practical. Um, Taurus is um, creative. Yeah. So let's get that in there. Okay. Moon and Cancer will also be trining Neptune and Pisces, which will be helpful. Yeah, because that's helping us basically imagine something. Imagine something. Right. Yeah. Right. I don't want to say imagine something in particular, just yeah. imagine something, you yeah. know, and that's what we do need because we do need to go, okay, something might need to be different. Right. Let's imagine what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Also that same day. Yes. Mercury is very active. Yes. So they are going to form a conjunction with Saturn. Mm -hmm. Which means they're real close. Yep, so merging energies with one another mm -hmm. right before Mercury moves into Pisces. Mm -hmm. So again, like um, whenever we have planets come together, they're merging energies. So Mercury is our mind, mm -hmm. um, our in uh, intellect, uh, the way that we, we communicate. communicate. Yeah. Um, Saturn is structures, our mm -hmm. foundation, like how... Um, Good times. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so it's almost like, how are we, how are we structuring our mind? Yeah. How are we laying a solid foundation for our mind to be able to work for us, mm -hmm. not against us? Right. Um, 
because again, we gotta we gotta remember Mercury is going into Pisces right afterwards. So right. there's a little bit of waters of an- intangibility that our mind may have to swim through in that. Right. But getting that solid foundation from Saturn right before, it's almost like getting an anchor. I know it's going to make all the, the difference. Yeah. yeah. Where it's like you're still you're not going to float away. No. You and might have to tread a little water, but no. you're not going to float away. And Pisces is going to be really um, interested to see what Mercury brings in. Yes. Because when Mercury shows up with his um, swords from Aquarius, because Aquarius mm. is air, which is in the Tarot yeah. sword sign. Um, Pisces is going to take the things that need to be transmuted and changed immediately. Um, And so as it moves through Pisces, it will keep doing that. And Saturn um, is telling Mercury, okay, go into Pisces and make these things work. And you know what's interesting? I'm looking Mm -hmm. at my notes. Yeah. You know, Mercury only stays in a sign for a very short period anyway. Yeah. But this time is really short, 16 days. He he's, moves into Aries on the 18th. He's hauling ass. Right. So we don't have a lot of time with this energy, which Mm-mm. we never do with Mercury. He's always hauling ass. But, yeah. Um, excuse me, they. Mercury's not binary. Okay, but, yeah. um, but um, it, it's like, almost like, even if it is crazy and tangible where we're like, we can't get our minds straight on something, mm-hmm. it's only going to last 16 days. Yeah. And that also, I want to remind people. Right. So think of it maybe as a vacation for your brain. Yeah. It's like a two-week vacation. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Whew. <laughs> mm-hmm. We totally need that after Mardi Gras. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Friday, the moon's still in Cancer. Yes. <laughs> Where we will form that opposition with Pluto. Okay. For, for you know, Pluto and his anoretic, or... Yeah, anoretic. Yeah, he is an anoretic. Yeah. What am I saying? He's 29th yeah. degree in Capricorn. Yes. Um, and so, just, just saying, so... I have so many people that I talk to, like millions now, but I have a lot of people that I talk to and they talk about how their work is totally different. And I keep telling them it's that Pluto and Capricorn. Yep. And it's time you guys, it's like, it's He's time to do things. He's transforming work, basically. Yeah. 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 So listen to your intuition when it comes to this. And I mean, a lot of this is not easy. A lot of them are working with like narcissistic bosses. Like a lot of them are working with narcissistic coworkers. I yeah. mean, it's not a tiny change. It is... A massive change. Yes. So you guys, when I talk about this, and even with Helen, when we talk about this 29th degree with Pluto and Capricorn, like we get it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. And not to mention Saturn's there now too. Yeah, and Saturn's <laughs> is 29th degree of Aquarius. Right. So it's right. Like we're pushing that last little bit of energy it is that saying, we need to get something out of. Yeah. Get rid of that way of being. You know, we've got you've got to make yourself stable. You've mm-hmm. got to make the way you work stable. Yeah. Um. So. My heart goes out to you guys, but we're going to do this. Yep. You're doing it. You're we're doing all doing it. it. Yeah, you're doing it. Um, okay, then the moon will finally move into Leo. Yay. That's amazing. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. I okay. know. It feels like the moon's been in Cancer all week. I know. Yeah, but then in Leo. Yeah. That is good. <laughs> okay. Because so, then we're going to have that square with the north node. So mm-hmm. it's like, you know, whatever, whatever's keeping us from our destiny, so to speak, we're going to have to get that out of there. Yeah. Have a talk. And you know what? Mm-hmm conjunct Lilith too and Lilith is gonna be that bitch that's gonna say nah to I, yeah. basically everything that doesn't work for us right Lilith is strong woman yep um, and so you know the moon in Leo conjunct Lilith so that's a lot of I mean that's a lot of fire I feel like Lilith is all elements so yes. when she's conjunct Leo um, they're having a good talk yeah, and, it, and I think the thing that is interesting about Lilith is, like, she's always been kind of relegated to, you know... Demony. Yes. Yeah. But she's really just someone who speaks for herself yeah, she knows, and lives for herself. Right, she knows what's up. And I think the thing that we have to remember about her energy when we're talking about her astrologically is she wants mm-hmm. the same thing for us. I agree. So when the moon forms a conjunction there, it's like... Your, if something's not for us. Right. Your gonna intuition to, is going to be calling bullshit on people. Yep. And you're just going to be like, oh, yeah, I got it. And she's just she's just going to very heavily encourage us to stick up for ourselves yeah. in that sense. And you will. You guys, yeah. you will. Um, Venus, who's in Aries. Yes. Will be conjunct Chiron, so they'll be side by side. Yes. Who, are, who is also in Aries, which is good because Lilith is going to have all that um, fire yep. from Leo. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Venus, who Chiron might be a little leapy. We don't know. We're trying to make him more strong. 
Um, Trying to make him into the great healer, not right, the wounded healer. Right. And so that's good energy to keep working with him as the great healer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You might be licking your wounds and being like, but it doesn't fucking matter as long as you guys are packing your bags and moving. Okay. Right. That's, that's all that matters. And I think, you know, with Venus being, you know, our value system and like the things that truly matter to us, mm -hmm. like she's asking us while she's in this conjunction with Chiron to the things that have hurt us, does it? does it really still matter to us? Yeah. Is there things we can let go that right. like maybe we've evolved? Right. That like maybe it hurt before, mm -hmm. but it, it needed to happen or whatever you want to say. Yeah, so right, that, right, right. Like yeah. whatever you want to say so that we can, so that we can move forward and it's okay to release those things now. Yeah. And if it still, if it does still hurt again, as long as your bags are packed and you're moving out the door into something different, that's all that matters. Yeah. Okay. Saturday moon will still be in Leo. Yeah. Okay. And then the big story of the week, the, you know, all the planets and Aries that yes. continues, but that continues with the trine mm -hmm. with Vesta, Jupiter, Chiron, and Venus on that day. Yeah. So again, the trine is 120 degrees away, mm -hmm. very harmonious, um, all in the same sign. So they're all in fire signs. So we got this like really, really like happy, harmonious, fiery energy yeah. that we're working with. So even if we had some questions when that moon was squaring these planets, mm -hmm. Now we feel okay before. about it. Yeah, yeah. Now we feel like, all right, you we answered those questions. Yeah. Now I can do something good with this. Right. Yeah. And swear you're on us. Making the change. Making that change. Yeah. For real. Right. I'm you pretty... can't not make a change when the moon is square you're on us. Right. Saturday, you're going to be inspired, you guys. There's going to be lots of inspiration. Yeah, there's definitely some inspiration there. Yeah. And you're going to be inspired by the change. Yeah. Okay, Sunday, the moon is still in Leo. Yes. Okay, it's sextiling. Mars, who's still in Gemini. Yep. So, you know, I think Leo and Mars is always a good energy. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. So, my, my Mars is in Leo, and I love oh, that, so. okay, yeah. Yes. Living example. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of my favorite places. I get it. Okay. Um, so that's going to be good, you guys. Um, it will be also trining Eris and Juno, who is in Aries, yep. right? So that same story we've been dealing with all week, but again, a lot more favorable energy, a lot easier flow to it. And let me tell you this too, like this discord that comes up, you guys are going to see it in a different light, yeah. right? Because Juno slash Hera, she's the peacock. She always has those eyes out on everything. So this is good. This is going to help you guys see things differently. Mm -hmm. um, and that moon and Leo will be opposing Saturn and Aquarius, yes. which I think will be good because then you will be able to see how to make yourself stable in a different way. Yes. Okay. And that's it. That's important to say the different way. Yeah. Because we're not moving through all this energy so we can just keep everything nope. the same way. Nope. Why, we, why would we go through all this right. if we're not changing something? We would be having lots of different energy. This yes. energy is energy of change. Yes. This yep. is, and that's great yep. because, you know, it's moving us forward. Right. We're, you can't go backwards, everybody. Right. Can't put the toothpaste back in the tube. Nope. You can't divorce the states. No, no, no. And any other bullshit. <laughs> Whatever you're trying to do. Right. You got to move forward. Right. You missed you missed your window yep. any time. So you guys just know that too. Okay. Things might seem a little scary or ooh, but we can't go backwards. No. No matter. And we're not. No. No. Yeah. We studied it too much. We will let you know. Yeah. We promise it's it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We yes we it's do. It's getting better and better. It is. It really is. So. I mean, I think it's just up to us all individually to accept that it is getting better and yeah. want to be moving in that direction. better direction. Yeah. yeah. And once we all want that, that's just where we're going. And I can tell you this too, the rhetoric gets really high when a really good energy starts pummeling the planet. Yeah. So just know that too. Yeah. There's always going to be someone that tries to pull it back, but that's okay. It's a fool's, it's not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, you guys. Well. Busy week ahead, starting tonight. Yes. Um, if you have questions, you can reach out to us on our YouTube channels or on Instagram yes. at the Crimson Cadaveris or Seasons of Ritual or Independent Street NOLA. Again, um, just to remind you guys, Helen and I are both, um, we both read astrology and we're both tarot workers. So if you guys want to get a session with either one of us, you can do that too. Yeah. So I don't know why I don't ever... Okay, so I'll start plugging that for. Because we're, we're always terrible at promoting it's ourselves. It's true. You know, it's like, I don't know. But after this week... Maybe we're gonna, not. Yeah, exactly. Maybe not. Change the narrative. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We'll be on it. Okay, you guys. Um, have a great week. And if you have any questions, please reach out. 
and we'll see you guys next week. Have a good week.